I really, really do like the new pack, but one slight problem with it is that you can't just start playing as a landlord. There's a couple apartments in the new world that you can move into straight away as a tenant, but if you want to be a landlord, it takes some setup on your part. And I guess that does make sense because you need to have some money first before you can buy a place and then rent it out to other people. But not everybody likes to build, so I think today I want to set up a lot for you all to use as a landlord. And I think the goal is to try to make it slightly affordable because then you all could use it without too many cheats. I'm basically trying to minimize the setup for you to give you an easy place to start if you buy the pack. I mentioned there's a couple places in the world that you can just move into and be a tenant, and that part's easy. You can just make a sim and then move into an apartment, no problem. But I want to be a landlord, at least for today. <laughs> I don't really see myself using this part of the pack too often in the future, but it is the kind of thing I want to test out and mess around with now that it's brand new. Oh my goodness, it's cloudy. I need to get my mods back, hold on. Okay, two restarts later and my game is fixed, and now we we're all good to go. There we go. Okay, that's more like it. I just, I can't deal with the clouds when I'm trying to build. I need to have some sun so I can see what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna give myself like 25,000 simoleons for this, so like a little bit more than a starter home. And then there's a couple ways that we can go about this. We could build a couple of units on this lot and have our sim live in one and then rent out the other and be like kind of a small time landlord. We could also build one building and then rent out individual rooms inside of it so we could have like oh oh god okay <laughs> I downloaded the full version of the game. I've been having some weird glitches. I don't really know why that's happening. Um, just take my word for it. Imagine we have like a couple bedrooms and we rent out both of these and then we have a fully shared living kitchen space and then a bedroom for our sim to live in. So then you have completely shared common areas and almost like a roommate situation. I don't think there's a lot of money to be earned from having roommates that are sharing your house, but I think that's the most feasible when you're first starting out as a landlord so I think I might do something like that. That's probably also how I'm most likely to play with the pack in the future and have like granny live in the backyard and then the rest of my sims in the main house. So this is kind of more along the lines of how I intend to use the pack. I'd like to use a lot of stuff from the new pack on this too. I just don't know how that's gonna work out because I think that some of it is a little bit pricey. We'll see what we can do. I'm gonna try my best to make this place look nice. I do like the idea of a lot of nice patio space on this house too. And then maybe, oh, I don't know know about that. Okay, well, maybe these could be the two rooms that we rent out to people. It'd be cool if they had their own private bathrooms though, wouldn't it? Because if you've got to share bathrooms, they're not going to be like nice units. That is something that we kind of have to worry about, unfortunately, like the value of the units and the value goes up based on the amenities that they have. And so we want to make sure that they're all nice <laughs> and they all have a lot of stuff. So just hear me out for a second. You're probably thinking, Kayla, that's a mess. <laughs> what are you doing? So here's my thought process. Us, imagine that this room right here is one bedroom they have their own bathroom. Then this room is the other bedroom. They have their own bathroom. And then this room is your bedroom. You live there and you have your own bathroom. So there's a three bed, three bath house. And the rest of this becomes shared common area. We have a pretty decent sized back porch. I can turn this part into a nice big kitchen. So I think that this probably could work for us. It is kind of big. It's like maybe even too big <laughs> to be a starter home, but I'll see what we can do. There's so much nice stuff from this pack that I want to use, but it is all really expensive. So we're going to have to be kind of careful about price. I'll get rid of all those weird colors for a second too, because nobody wants to be looking at that. That was a mess. Okay. I think that we can make this work. I think it's going to be fine. So we'll get a really nice front door right here. Thankfully, these front doors are cheap. I don't think I realized how cheap they were. That's only 50. Oh, that's really good actually. How much do the windows cost? Oh, it's a miracle. This beautiful giant window is only 30 simoleons. I kind of like almost disagree with that price and I feel like it should be more, but I am not going to complain or say anything. I will take it. If you want to be cheap, then you can be cheap. That's fine by me. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I'll use those by the front door then. Yeah, we really don't have a lot to work with out here either. So we've got a very small little walkway going up to the front. I'm kind of trying to take inspiration from this house a little bit because this is one of the homes that comes in the world. But that 
does not look anything like ours right now. Uh-oh, we might have to do a do-over. Now that I'm trying to roof it, it's not making any sense. <laughs> it doesn't look how I kind of wanted it to look, so we might have to do a little take two with the building. Listen, we now know what we're going for, okay? And maybe maybe while I do this, I might make our budget 24,000 because that's how much money two sims get. So this way you could do it without cheats completely, technically. Okay, so let's discuss layout again. <laughs> let's do a little take two. So imagine that this is the layout of the main house now. No, wait, go back. Okay, so picture the kitchen kind of goes in this nook. We have a dining table here and this is the living room. Something like this gives us a lot of space to work with in the initial entryway. And then I'm kind of envisioning that maybe we add on to the house in this direction. Oh my God, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, it's a mess, it's a mess, it's a mess. Um, all right, so um, do over, I need a do over. Imagine now for a second, okay? This becomes a hallway, so you can walk this way. That's how you access one more of the bedroom. Oh, this looked way better the first time and I bulldozed it so it's gone, so that kind of sucks. Okay, now we have a big giant cube <laughs> and this is not what I wanted at all. Let me, let me do a little do over again. Okay, imagine that this is the layout now. All right, here's our, our take two. I am gonna shrink this a little bit probably. We have a lot of hallway now and the hallway is probably a waste of space, but I, I think that it's okay. Like, I think at times it's good to waste space. And we still have three bedrooms and three bathrooms. So this is kind of the situation right now. It looks like a cake. How does it look like a cake? How does it always look like a cake? Oh my God. I'm gonna steal some space over here. And then I'm gonna put like a porch on the side of the building just so we have something else to look at. And I made this way taller than I wanted to, but that's okay. I think I'll make this part into the landlord's unit because then they can have a private backyard balcony thing. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe the tenants could also have a shared balcony that belongs to them specifically. Cause we could maybe split that down the, well, okay. It can't be split down the middle, but we could have the tenants have their own balcony too. Okay, let's start trying to do the roof on this. I don't know how it's gonna look just yet. I guess we'll see. Um, right now the answer is bad. <laughs> <laughs> the roof is gonna look bad. That's how it's gonna look. This right here is a massive, unbelievably huge waste of money. Like there is no reason, not a single reason for this to be here other than just to waste my money. Well, I guess it looks cool. So that's kind of the reason. I don't like it though. <laughs> Do over, do over, go back, go back, go back. Okay, I've given in, I've made some moderate adjustments and this is what I'm going for now. <laughs> I've kind of messed with the floor plan a bit too much. So we do have to go back and, and fix that. We no longer have a bathroom for this bedroom. So, oh, you know what? We could do it like that. That kind of matches. And then we also, I mean, this is kind of a big problem too, but there's nothing up here, <laughs> so. That's bad. We can't allow ourselves to worry about that right now. That's a nice feature for you as the player to improve upon once you have more money. That is not a feature for me to worry about on this particular day, because if I did, well, I'd never finish the build. <laughs> we actually don't have money to be worrying about that. It's it's not possible. The upstairs is out of my budget. It's, it's too far gone. I can't do anything to help you. Okay, so we'll have this as our little front door area. I have not considered what the side is gonna look like. <laughs> I haven't really thought about this part and in particular the roof on this part. There's options because we could have it be like low down. It could be like, I don't know, this is bad. So don't, don't listen to me with this one, but there's always like this sort of thing as an option. We could try to have the roof go kind of like this as the option. I don't think that, that doesn't match the style of the house at all. <laughs> That's like not how these builds look. I guess this part's okay. I have unfortunately taken up the entire lot, so <laughs> that's less than ideal, but it's okay, we'll make it work. I think I'd like to put some sort of extra roof piece on top of this as well. I don't think it looks that good, but it is functional. And that kind of has to be the key here right now is just it working. I have given myself a ridiculous task. So we kind of have to make do with what we have. I'm gonna put regular wood floors everywhere again, kind of like we had originally. And we are officially back to the point I was at before I bulldozed. <laughs> was it worth it? No, no, it was not. Beautiful front door though. 
That looks absolutely stunning. Oh, wait a minute, look at this. What if I extend the roof out like that? Cause I can get some pretty columns in there to help support it. I don't know if I should do, oh no. It might be better if instead, wait, go back, sorry. Just do it like that. Cause then we have the cute detailing. I like the detailing. Let me quickly start putting all the necessities in. We need to have like a kitchen. We want to have bathrooms. I don't think we're going to be able to afford bathrooms. We can't use the nice stuff. We're going to have to use like the cheapest base game stuff if we want to have all separate bathrooms. Obviously they could have shared bathrooms, but I want to be able to make the most out of these units. Oh, uh oh. Maybe they have to have their own balconies. I'm realizing now actually, I might have to make it be separate. I don't love how that looks, but I couldn't have had the balcony doors here because there's bathrooms there. It's good, they'll have their own balcony. That's it, that's better. Every amenity that we add makes the unit more valuable and therefore makes the rent more expensive. So we'll do what we can to make these as good as possible. Unfortunately, my fear is that they're gonna be worth like basically nothing. We'll have to see how it goes once we set it up. Oh, this is cheap, oh good. 240, that's like one of the cheapest couches. It's cheaper than the three tile wide base game couch. That's pretty nice. I'll take that. I'm gonna get us a TV. It's not a nice TV, <laughs> but it's a TV and I would like to have one. And we can get a bookshelf too. That was kind of an expensive bookshelf. These are kind of expensive chairs. That might be the best that we can do in this hallway, amenity wise. Your bedroom can be terrible. I'm gonna put like, the bare minimum stuff in your own unit because when you play, you can give yourself more. <laughs> I'm gonna give the tenants the better stuff for now. How much is this? 120, mm -mm. no, no, sorry. You're getting a base game one. You get cheap base game nightstands. I kind of am tempted to give a computer to you in your unit. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. I'll fix the colors, don't worry. Just, um, you have to wait. <laughs> You have to wait on that one. I'm afraid, I don't think they can have these balconies anymore. I liked the idea. It was a good idea in theory. In practice, I don't think we can afford it. <laughs> we can't have it, I'm sorry. If we wanna have furniture, it's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna put random wallpaper down because as long as we've paid for it, then we're set. Same thing, I'm gonna get some random tile too. Just as long as it's there we'll be able to use it. That's gonna look so nice in the kitchen. Okay, I'll fix colors obviously afterward. Oh, oh, I need to paint the rest of the walls outside. Okay, I'll just put random wallpaper. It's fine, anything we'll do for now. We'll do some cute little windows as well. How do you think that looks on the front? Is that okay? I'll probably put a tree right here. So the tree will kind of block it. If you think it looks weird, don't worry, it'll be fine. Same thing back here. I'll put some trees back where the windows look a bit strange so we can try and maximize the space that we have. Um, I don't like that. We need a window upstairs. The upstairs is a waste of space and a waste of money, but it's okay. Extra windows go a long way. I'm gonna put as many as I can down here. All right, we have 5,000 simoleons left to furnish two units. <laughs> Two units. My first thought was that maybe in one of them we could put two beds and then you could try to rent this out to like two roommates because there's a wide variety of different tenants. There is unfortunately just not a lot of space for you to do much in here because the room is so small. I think I'll make it kind of like a cute pink and blue color scheme based off of this. Curtains are a hundred simoleons. <laughs> Oh my God, I wanna have curtains so bad. I think it would be really nice to have curtains. This is only 50, so that's good. That's like good cheap stuff that we can put on the wall. Oh no, I really wanted to have, okay, this is bad. I really, really wanted to have like utilities in this place. I don't know where to put them. I want utilities that are shared and like among everyone. I might need to get a wall that goes like right here. That's terrible. Oh God, okay, your unit has just gotten even smaller. <laughs> Sorry everybody. I don't know if I can afford these. The water heater is 650. Oh dear. Okay, and then the fuse box. The fuse box is 500. And we need a light. We unfortunately may need to have just a shared bathroom. <laughs> We might need to go back down to the shared bathroom concept because this is costing a little bit too much. I think that's okay. That does make this little room like really sad, but that's okay, that's okay. If I switch this to a residential rental and then I set this is unit number one, you have your own bathroom. This becomes unit number two. This becomes unit number three and the rest of it is all just shared. What does that make the value look like on these? 34 simoleon max rent. See, that's terrible. You need the max rent to 
be over 50 simoleons. Otherwise, you will literally not make any money because there's a daily lot tax of 50 simoleons per unit. So it's gonna charge you 50, <laughs> and then if you're only making 49, then actually you're paying money to rent these places to people. And that is really no good. You do not want to be paying money to rent your unit to somebody. You need to be making money off of it. How much is it worth now? 34 max rent. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, um, I think that we may have discovered that perhaps you cannot have three units. Or maybe you don't, maybe we don't have a TV. We can just make the shared space worse for now. You can upgrade the shared spaces pretty easily. It's more like the individual units that you can't upgrade that much because once there's a person living in there, you can't change it. How much is that worth now? 38 max rent, 34 max rent. Why? All the furniture I just added didn't make a difference. Okay. So for some reason, these two basically have the same max rent. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I don't know. Um, if that's gonna be the case, then I will give them way less stuff. Like they don't need to have decorations then. I think it might actually be about the bathroom thing then. So if this one belongs to number two, how much is their rent? 76, okay, yeah. Having your own bathroom is kind of the way. You have to do that. Otherwise you just can't make it work. Well, that's sad. <laughs> that costs us a lot more money then. That's okay, it's okay. It needs to be more than 50. Otherwise there's no point in doing this. So we'll have to just make it work. Okay, you belong to number three then. I have no idea how the pricing works or like how everything gets it's determined. What I thought was the case is apparently not correct. So I don't know. I don't know how it works. These walled weaves of wickered whims are cheap. It's only 50 simoleons and it looks good on the wall there. So I'll give them that. They can have a little plant too. How much is this unit worth? We've got 76 max rent, 50 max rent. What? Does it have to do with the fact that it only is one bed? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess this one has more furniture in it. Should I make them have two beds too? Should we have like two shared beds? I will do whatever it takes to cheat the system. I am not afraid to just mess around with it and try. Now the max rent's 80. <laughs> what? Okay, it likes two beds. Two beds is good. Whatever. <laughs> That's fine. We can have four roommates living here with us this way. Okay, well now we can actually start thinking about the outside over here. There are a couple more amenities that we need. For example, a trash can. That would be a nice touch. I'll do landscaping with debug, so landscaping will be free. We're gonna want to get some artwork because otherwise the place is gonna be so sad. There's like nothing on the walls. This is only 65. That's a nice plant. We can definitely use that. Oh, wait a minute. This thing, 120. It basically does nothing. It's it's just a decoration, but that's okay. That's what I need right now. I think I would like to have at least one of the new appliances too, because I'd like to have some stuff that you can actually use. And I'd really like to have upper cabinets, but I know that's unreasonable because they're kind of expensive. Right now the house is, wait, it's 24,000? I thought I wanted it to be 22. Did I give myself 24,000 simoleons instead of 22? Oh, I guess I did. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that makes this even worse. I was hoping that I was going to be able to like do a little bit of money cheats because I was going to say, oh, we lost some money because the, the house, like it depreciated when I kept going in and out of live mode. Never mind. I don't have as much money as I thought even. Let's get a doormat. That's nice. And a waste of money. <laughs> it's nice and a waste. Are there any extra lights that I can lose to try and save a bit of extra money? No, probably not any more than what we have so far. Maybe I do smaller windows right here? How much is that? Four. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> this is 30. The small one is 40. The bigger one is cheaper. Oh, well, I was using the small one because I thought I was saving money, but apparently not. Apparently that's more expensive. So I'll get the bigger one. I guess I can use that in here too. Every simoleon counts. I think I'm going to want to put a rug in your bedroom and then also maybe delete your, your stuff because I don't think you can afford to have all the things that you had originally. I'm really sorry, but it's it's simply not gonna work out. <laughs> I wanted you to have a computer in your room, but it's you can't afford it. I keep saying your room as if like you're definitely gonna play in this, but I, I don't know. I'm sorry though. I, I did really, really want you to have nice things, but as it turns out, you cannot have nice things. <laughs> There's no money for you to have nice things. I'm really sorry. It's, it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> You can't do it. Like I said, you're gonna have to upgrade this while you play. It's it's not gonna be ready straight away. You've got the bare minimum for now. 
<laughs> and you're gonna have to improve it yourself. I really, really dislike how that shower looks, if I'm being honest with you. Um, I do not like it at all. Okay, so I put the water heater in like the same sort of setup as the bathroom. It's got the same tile and everything. I'm thinking I'll use this same tile again out here in the living area, but I might mix and match in a different colored wallpaper because I like how that darker blue one looks. Okay, we only have 55 simoleons left. Uh, I really want to have a rug. I really like how it looks, but I also, I know that it's probably not a good idea. The rug is just too much money. Well, it's only 130, but money goes quick when you're building cheap houses like this. Even the base game ones are more expensive. Maybe I could try and size up a base game one instead. To be honest, I kind of hate that. I don't like how that looks at all, but maybe, oh, you know what we could do? Uh, uh oh, not that. Don't delete the whole place. Let's use less chairs. Let's just do two chairs. It's not a great situation, but you could expand that. Like we're kind of trying to fit in the minimum stuff in here and then you'll be able to add to it as you're playing in this place. So you can add the extra chairs. You can add the extra wallpaper and wall decorations. You can get yourself a computer. Okay, so here's what we've got for the main living space. Then we have all of the rooms kind of split off. We have 169 simoleons left, but I'm gonna try and do the outside real quick. We're gonna have to be very sneaky about our spending outside. So we can make the most of what we have left. Luckily, things like mailboxes are free and then debug landscaping is also free. So we can use some of the new stuff. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. I think what I need to do real quick is put a plain foundation on this because I'm gonna take the whole place off of a foundation so I can scoot the landscaping really close up to it. This is annoying, but if you have it on the stilted foundation, you can't put it completely flat to the ground, which is what I wanna do. I will put it back. I just need it to be flat for a second so I can do the landscaping nicely. Oh, tiger poster. Oh, that's good. That might be cute because that's only five simoleons. Does that have like a. Oh, never mind. If there's no benefit from it, it has like zero environment score, so we probably don't need that. I really like these trees. I don't know if that's worth using, but I do like it. And then this palm tree is good because it takes up a lot of space. So it fills up the whole lot kind of. And that's what I'm looking for with my landscaping right now is just for it to fill up the whole lot. I do have this little bike rack and a couple of cute bikes. So maybe I'll try and use that somewhere. Right now I'm kind of just going through and grabbing stuff that I want to steal. I'm actually kind of thinking that this little bamboo bamboo is kind of cute to fill in some of the front yard. I can just kind of fill that down the side yard until I put some landscaping in because that gives us something else to look at in the front. Maybe I'll do that instead of the bike because the bikes look kind of weird with it there. Well, I would have moved the bikes, but you know what I mean. They also have a couple debug plant pots so I can use those on the porch and that'll be free for some porch decor. <gasps> the tiger plushies only zero simoleons. No way. Oh my gosh, we should totally use that in one of the rooms. Maybe you can have one of those in your room too because you don't have any decoration. <laughs> I gave you a very sad room, so it'd be nice if you could have this little guy. Can I raise it up? Oh, is that clipping? No, it's fine. It's clipping a little bit, but it's not through the wall, so you can't tell. Okay, that helps. That's good. I like free stuff. Free stuff is always good. The game is lagging a lot right now because I have it set to a rental. When they're set to rentals, they really do struggle with lag. Like, watch this. I place this, and then it takes like three seconds for it to stop for real. Okay, and what I'm doing here, this looks very strange. I'm very aware of that but the reason I'm putting it like so close to the building is because I'm gonna raise the building up onto a foundation and you're gonna be able to see all of this underneath the foundation so I'm kind of putting it here really close on purpose it'll look better once it's raised up and then it also won't be clipping anymore because it's gonna be raised up above it yeah and if I were you if you build one of these residential rentals build them as a plain residential and then swap it to a rental last because that's where the lag comes in and it's really annoying to work with so just make it normal lot types and then swap it at the end. It'll make your life a little bit easier. Have I gone overboard? Is that too much? There's a lot of different plants happening, maybe in a bad way, but also maybe in a good way. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think there being a lot of plants is kind of fun. I like that there's so much lush tropical landscaping out here, but also I can acknowledge that it might be too much. No, it's fine. I like it. I've decided. I'm putting the foundation back up. Give it a second. It's being kind of laggy. There we go. Okay. Now we just go back and we swap it back out to this one. Oh my goodness. It is struggling right now. This seems like a good time to save. <laughs> it's making me nervous. <laughs> so I'm going to save real quick. Can I even afford to put the stairs back? Yeah, we should be fine. Okay. Is there? Oh my goodness. I got 
got 75 simoleons back because there was a wall right there. I was paying for fences when I didn't need to be. Oh, oh no, it was that. Never mind. It wasn't a fence. It was just this. Oh, I messed up. Oh my god, I'm struggling. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I was gonna put the trash can just kind of back here in the corner where it's easily accessible for everybody. It would probably also be nice to have a trash can inside because I didn't add one of those. So I might stick one over here. And then as far as other little items go, oh, that's clipping. Yikes, that's no good. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please don't clip palm tree, that's bad. Okay, I might actually try and make the bathrooms match their attached rooms a little bit better, or at least have them look a little bit different because it's more fun, I guess. Can I afford to have mirrors? I don't think that having a mirror is gonna help them. So maybe I won't give them one. I don't, I think that it's too far gone. I don't think it'll make a difference in their, in their lot value. We do have 119 simoleons left, but what can you even buy with that? I'd like to buy something that is functional. Oh, wait, how about one of the little marbles? This is only 20, so you can have a marble collection there. This thing's only 55, so that's kind of a cute decor item in the kitchen. And maybe this tiger poster could be good for the hallway just because it's cheap. Because <laughs> what else can you put in there? Not much. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I fear that this might be the best that we can do. <laughs> Unless I wanted to give them frogs or something. Frogs are cheap. Where's one of the 10 simoleon frogs? That's what I want. I want cheap frog. Here, look, a leaf frog. And maybe you can have an eggplant frog. Environment three? Oh, that, see, that's smart. <laughs> Everybody can have a frog. That's a huge environment score boost. How, how are those units now? Amenities basic, environment lacking. <laughs> okay, environment's lacking, maintenance is poor. But we, we did what we could to help them. The max rent is 76 in that one and 80 in the other. Okay, it didn't even go up. But at least you're making money and you'd be able to improve them like with your maintenance and stuff. And as you get more money, you can, you can pay to give them some more decorations. You can pay to, to give yourself some more decorations and you'll slowly be able to improve. All right, I think last thing we should do is go through and put some terrain paint. This doesn't affect your game score or anything. Like it's not gonna make your place more expensive, but it makes me feel better to have terrain paint. So I'm gonna go through and add some quick. I think especially to have some dirt just like underneath this building, cause you wouldn't see pure green grass under there. Like it would be a little bit dirty. So, well now it says 18,420. What's going? on is that just the value of what we can access how much is this house worth <laughs> hold on if i turn that back on oh 23,295 okay yeah, that's what i thought <laughs> can i what if i gave myself like 500 more simoleons just because listen i really really want curtains <laughs> like so bad i think that it would be a huge improvement if we had some curtains in here just in a couple places just like a couple nice little curtain items even if this one didn't have any we just had a few i think it helps to like give it some more color and vibes and then we have a tiny bit of money left i could maybe give the sims like a couple more things they probably don't care about that i think they just want stuff that has environment score what's the best environment score we can get most of it's just one environment score i could give you some of that i took down your wall stuff i can put them back for you what does that have does this even have environment score no well then you don't get it <laughs> you don't need it we only need stuff that has environment score i'm looking for cheap stuff that can actually affect my sims <laughs> I want to have nice, good stuff. Do mirrors have environment score? No. How about like toilet paper is 50. This is only 35, the toothbrush. You can both have toothbrushes. How about another plant? Okay, I'm really, I'm really cutting it close here. Let's, let's upload it to the gallery. It's 23,780. It's three bedrooms, three bathrooms. Is it set up right? Hold on. Unit one, unit two, unit three, shared. Okay, we should be fine. Three small bedroom units, each with their own bathrooms and a shared kitchen and living area. Four rent landlord starter. Okay, I'm uploading it now. I think this turned out pretty cute. I like the shape of it. Obviously, I kind of mimicked the one that comes in the world, so it blends into the area pretty well. It's not too expensive, and you'd be able to play in here pretty easily. I can show you what that would look like if I tried to fill the vacancies here. I'm gonna make the rent, like, the max that I can, ideally. The problem is most people won't pay it. <laughs> most of them, like, Izzy only wants to pay 59. That's pretty bad. You could get Izzy Fabulous living in there. Ooh, these people don't want to pay anything. <laughs> these people are terrible. 37. I don't want to rent to you for 37. That's ridiculous. I get it. They don't want to pay the max rent. The place sucks, but <laughs> this is what it would be like. We'd, we'd have, like, the, the units shared there, and then, come on, guys. Do you want to come out, please? I just wanna, I just want to see you use my kitchen. Oh, look, there they are. It's Denzel. 
This is my new roommate. He's looking at the painting. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. There's not much to see. It's very unfortunate. But this will be kind of cool because they'll just be out and about in the shared living area. Are you flirting with him? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> this is a good stopping point. Before Nancy cheats on her husband, I am gonna save the game and end the video right here. Let me know if you all like the concept of this build. Hopefully it's helpful for you if you want to start playing with the pack. I've done quite a few apartment sort of things and most of them are individual units. This one's a bit different because everything's all shared. And if you want to watch any of those more individual apartment buildings, I can link some here on the end card for you. I've also been doing a lot of building with this pack over on my Twitch channel. And in fact, this weekend, I'm going to start building the new house for my legacy challenge. If you've seen my YouTube series ever here, I'm going to build them a new place this weekend. So if you want to come watch that, I'm going to have my Twitch channel linked down below for you. Thank you for watching. Happy for rent. It's officially out now so we can all play and I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye everybody. They gave me a creator code, so if you use code LILSIMSY at checkout in the EA app, I will get 5% of your purchase of your Sims packs. So if you're gonna buy this one and you wanna type my code in, you totally can. You don't have to though.